Hello Stevies, today is the day I'm going to ride my Road King into town and my buddy Rocky and I are going to put this front ledger suspension on. But, I'm going to go ahead and do the unboxing here because I need to take all this out and put it in my saddlebags or I need to find a way to strap it down. Either way, I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it here. Instructions, these are actually pretty important. We're going to be using these. And then, as everything is boxed for legends. Oh, that is not going in my saddlebags. We're going to have to find a way to strap it down on the bike. There we go. All strapped down. Let's go get it done. All right, everybody made it into town. It was cold. It was really cold. Check out that video. Be riding with hot wired heated gear in the 20s, 20 degree weather or whatever. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you here. 19 degrees, rode into town. Fingers were a little bit, fingers were chilly. The fit my tips of my fingers, not my hands, but the tips of my fingers. But so at my buddy's Rocky's house and we're going to install legends front fork suspension get to it so luckily enough rocky's done this before on his bike over there on the lift and so he says this is going to be easy all you got to do ain't nothing but work right yeah that's why i tell people harleys aren't aren't difficult they might be time consuming, but they're not difficult, you know? Ah, they're easy. Straightforward if you can read a manual. Right. Sometimes some people aren't patient enough to read the manual, though. I may be one of them. Yeah, brakes come off, and then fender comes off, then tire comes off, then forks come off? Yep. All right. That is the order. Then it'll go in there. No. Oh. Slide back up. If you try to do it from up here, it ain't going to work. So brake pads are easy, huh? Yeah, they're actually all right. So you take your handy crown bag, slinger over here, kind of tight here, so if it was the fall, it ain't going very far. Totally out of the way for the entire job. Yep. Sweet. So Rocky's last lesson was take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> so we know pictures are good. where everything goes, like the sensor for the brakes and it works. Okay. Right. So, the pain in the ass is going to be the those things that I told you to get off there. Those axle nuts. Mm -hmm. Caps. Mm -hmm. They've been off lately, though. Oh, they? Okay. Good. I mean, when I had the front tire put on uh, 10,000 miles ago. Good. Good. And if nothing else, I know a store that sells more. If we have to mess these up, I have to F them puppies up to get them off. Okay, so both forks are off. Now we're gonna do both forks at the same time, put the new suspension in. Oh man, that's not horrible. Of course I wasn't the one holding it. You know what's coming, so it's like, okay, <laughs> right? so now we're gonna take this off. Get the other one? Yep.
So now if we weren't replacing these seals, could we just pull everything out, put the new in, put it back on the bike? Right. But we're gonna replace these seals yeah. while we're here? Yeah. Those seals kits are not cheap either. No, but imagine if you had to do it again. No. <laughs> so yeah, you, you, so you decided, you know, if I the seals. But they're easy to do, aren't they? I mean. Yeah, it's not hard. Okay. So, so you went to the point where I got it all back together. I rode down the road 3,000 miles and the thing started leaking. <laughs> right. What was I thinking? Seal kit numbers are from Harley because I was there. I don't know if they're cheaper anywhere else, but they are. They are. They're the same number, both sides. So. And those would be the parts that we're going to throw away. Yep. Unless you keep them for something, springs for something. I'm sure Shelly could get like crafty with them or something. <laughs> Maybe. Don't drink it, Jake. No, it's not going to be good. <laughs> you only do it once. Smells good, doesn't it? I didn't even smell it. Mm. We could have been done with this once we took it apart, but we're changing the seals too while we've got it. Rocky very much said, I'm not doing this unless you change the seals too. So we're changing the seals. Well, it makes sense. Mm hmm. So, so it's the big so spacer, the little spacer. That one kind of has to stay there, as you can see, because it's. You're so yeah, it. you can see you it just, it it's really not much there. It just clips in there. Mm -hmm. So, so, seal, washer, spacer. And then that one on the bottom. And then this one goes on the bottom. Seal, washer, spacer, easy enough. Yep. Here you go, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do the other one. My neighbor used to tell me these are like uh, brakes, brake drums. You got a Missouri blueprint here. You don't take this one apart until you get this one back together because you can always look right. at this and see what you did. Right. However, nowadays with the camera, you pretty much right. don't need it anymore. So, <laughs> hey, so just, we're gonna we're cool to take it apart. But if you don't have Mr. Camera, like Josh, yeah, I wouldn't be a bad idea to just do one at a time. And yeah, you want to make sure you don't scar the tube with anything, right? Yep. That's bad. Correct. Just take it. There we go. Yep. There you do, go. Do we need that? What? Yep. We do. So, you don't remember the video? He said it only comes. Some of them come with one. This one came with two. So we actually wouldn't need the one that actually, came with the kit. But you don't need it. But so that's weird. Why do some of them have one and some of them have two? I'm not sure. Like the different weight specifications, Could or be a different front end. Just a smidge. <laughs> so we'll just take him off and drop him off, and then change. Tweety. Uh, if the bike feels soft, it doesn't kind of tear the road. Yeah. Oh. Uh, in well, turns, well, yeah. which it used to, which would. Uh, okay, yeah. One's on there, and then it's easy take, when you're coming across. So you can take all that stuff off, and we'll just do it in reverse like order. A little, a little washer. That's all. Or a little spacer. Bike feels solid. Uh, the traction feels better, and yep. uh, I don't perceive that it rides rougher. Um, one of the things that Chase said. Mm -hmm. Laura had to measure it to see how much the bike is going to be. This is a huge improvement. So, after some much needed YouTube video watching, we know which way to turn this set screw. So these are set at zero and you turn it towards the spring and there's only three adjustments like zero to 250 and then 250 to like 350 and then 350 to like 400 or something like that. So we're just going to turn this once because me and life and we're not going to leave it at zero anyway by any means.
cork tube, I should say, stanchion, up and down slowly to bleed the air out of it and allow the oil to move all the way down to the bottom uh, right anyway. of, of the head red. So you do. I'm also going to just kind of try to hold it with a rag so that if we do have any oil that kind of spills over the edge, um, it goes a little bit down. Uh, even more boring for you than it is for me doing it. So, um, so I'm going to hold that outward a little bit, come over here, and start to pour some oil. Well, that does move it a lot, doesn't it? Mm hmm. So you've done this to your bike. I have. I've done this to my bike. And it eliminates the dive, which everybody sees, but then it also not so noticeable as when you take off the rise. Oh, yeah. Everybody That's sees cool. the dive when you hit the brakes, but it's when you're next to somebody that doesn't have this. And this is his wife's bike, and this one is lowered, front and back, right? I mean, I changed the kickstand, lowered, and everything, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is she wee? She's 5'4. So. She's wee. She's the same height as Kevin Hart. <laughs> oh, slide hammer? You've got a slide hammer. Doink. Oh, these don't just go on the end of the suspension? Uh -huh. Oh. Sure. You drop them in. Just drop them in and I'm I'm drop it. one in. And it. That cup sits in that little crevice that's down there. No. This. This. Nice and easy. Yep. So let's take this up here. Like you said, you can tell. You mm -hmm. can hear it well, noticeably at the bottom. And these are chamfered. You can see these are chamfered here. So that one that he was talking about where it oh. wasn't. Yep. And if you put this on wrong, it becomes a pump and not a seal. Don't ask me how we know. If you buy the Harley kits to rebuild these, you'll have pieces left over because you've trashed a lot of the Harley pieces. So if you get the seal kit, you will have pieces left over. And this is a 49 millimeter slide hammer. This way, maybe? As long as that needle goes down? Which it shouldn't, because I got the pork that's against it. Yeah. Guess I got it started. So once that pops free, I'll slide off 
and there you go. Uh, these are definitely a replace item. They get worn, they walk, uh, lots of issues. They definitely cause a leak on that air primary main seal. So it's just like the back, it doesn't, it recuperates from the bump so much faster. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so now they're working together, you can really feel the back and the front. Yeah. When you hit a bump, it's just over with. Yeah. Instead of hitting a bump and then. A bing bing, yeah. 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 Well, the one I like to hit is when you're doing off the interstate onto 77 up there, that's a pretty good fucking, we like hitting this thing here at 50. Oh, yeah. All right, buddy. Yeah. 29 degrees. That's 9 degrees warmer than it was when I came. It doesn't feel like the wind's not blowing, so. Mm -mm. Either Road King or Road Glide Nation things. It looks like yeah. Just right there, the front end doesn't. To push it up to get it off the gear to put it in neutral, you know, it just feels totally different. All right. Thanks, man. Have a good one. We'll talk soon. <laughs>